I'm Craig Priest. This is Beers with the Band, and we're hanging out with Save the Clock Tower today. Hey, man. How you doing? Yeah. How you doing, baby? Hey, we'll start with you. Uh, say your name and what you do in the box. <laughs> I'm Owen, and I play drums. <laughs> I'm Luke, and I sing. I'm Billy, I play guitar. I'm Alex, I play bass. Joel, guitar. Sick. Now, um, Wasteland has been out for a couple of months now. How, uh, uh, how's that been going for you? Yeah, good. Good. Yep. We had a sort of bit of a lull after it came out in terms of touring which we didn't really like but we're happy to be on the road now yeah well because obviously as soon as you release an album the first thing you want to do is fucking play it in front of kids and yeah, get it out there it's limited definitely. opportunities being from Tassie so it's working hard and yeah. back on the road again so but who so. um who did you guys get to record that and sort that out or like produce it yeah yeah we after? recorded it um me oh, and really? our old, yeah me and our old guitarist Tim recorded it and then we did vocals with a friend of ours Dave Venter yeah. Um, and then we sent it to Will Putney in New York for mixing. Wow, that's crazy. Well, it's turned out absolutely amazing. For it. it was recorded in Tassie, of all places. Mm-hmm. See, yeah. Tassie does have it, some In my lounge room, dude, my, my wife hated really? me for like three <laughs> months. months. Like, yeah. I'm lucky I didn't have a divorce by the end of it. That's I'm not kidding. 3 a.m. like finishes, 4 a.m. finishes, and the speakers are right on the wall where she sleeps. So <laughs> She'll watch this and laugh, though. She was I promise, hating I promise. It. I really want to talk about these diseases. Now, sure. um, that song is is an interesting song, and the film clip is pretty heavy. What can you guys maybe explain that a little bit? Maybe get a little bit deeper. Can you explain it to the people? Maybe if they definitely. haven't seen the film clip. Yeah, definitely. The film clip isn't the same meaning as the song. The song is just about making mistakes and stuff. Yeah. Well, and obviously the film clip ties kind together. Of, yeah. It, it does. Shows like, it, a like, massive mistake. It ties together. And then we had a couple of mates um, who actually got king hit when they were out down in Lonnie down there. So it kind of worked really well and we yeah. just thought we would use that. Well, it's something with our age group that is definitely relevant. It's like, a massive it, problem. I met us at Launceston Airport, got a nice, nice little nice little Lonnie Airport. In the, uh, <laughs> I thought in we were told off by security yeah. guards. They're walking up, they're like, you guys in a band? <laughs> we're like, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, band. Oh, yeah. We actually filmed it with a guy called Ed Rice from Melbourne. And it's probably the best dude to work with. Like, we've worked. How many guys have we work with? We work with Scotty on our previous videos. Jesse Honeyford. Jesse Honeyford and Scotty from Lucy, and they were really good. But we just wanted a different yeah. um, perspective, I guess, on shooting videos yeah, and stuff. Yeah, and Ed was amazing. Like, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. The and he was the best thing about him is like we didn't know he was there. Like when everything was being filmed, he was wow. like just in the background and like. But also, he took control in between scenes. Like he was really, really good at telling us what to do and how it's going to look on the camera. Yeah, his direction was really yeah, His direction good. was amazing. He took our idea yeah. and just like bedded it tenfold. That yeah, is. absolutely. So he didn't actually sort of push back any ideas we had. Um, which so you wanted really the good. whole king here, like it was exactly, yeah. yeah. It was how I thought, like when we first thought of it, it's how we thought it was yeah. going to be. But it was, it's just better. Put it on yeah. film, I guess. Like Shout from an Chip idea to yeah. an actual film clip. Being based in Tassie. Has it has it been difficult? Has there been any setbacks or anything? Because I know there's positive things about it as well. Like when big bands do go to Tassie that are in your your genre, because you guys are you guys are probably the biggest heavy thing that's come out since like Crop Dick or anything like that's that. Like, I'll, yeah. t- I'll drink to that, yeah. boys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, you know, like, you, you know about Side Crop Dick and you know about Save the Clock Tower, and that's that's cool, man. That's that's Tassie done. I'm pretty yeah. sure. No, there's some great bands. There's like there's a new band um, called Zealite uh, from Launceston, and we, they're sort of how long have they been been a thing for? Six, Man, not six long. months, eight not months, long, bro. and they're they're gonna go Shoot huge. Up. Yeah, they're wicked. They're a wicked they're band. And awesome Luke of Rise did come out of Tassie too. Yeah, man. absolutely. Like, in the punk scene, incredible, yeah, yeah, incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. But well, setbacks then. Like, what? How hard has it been for? Like, what stopped you guys from saying, you know what? Let's relocate and let's let's fuck off to Melbourne or like let's go to Sydney. Did what stopped you guys from doing that? We we did think about it. We, we did think about like, it for a bit, but. I think it started because you were already you moved to Melbourne after chaos. Split yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just had the biggest bug. Yeah. Sorry. What is yeah, that? It's <laughs> 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 like it was like a hornet. <laughs> yeah, Joel moved to Melbourne after chaos broke up, and he wanted us to come up and start a new thing. And I think he just, in the end, decided, what did, what did you decide to come back for? I just the I liked it because we kind I just of like to be close to my family. Like that's what yeah. it was. Like I just don't like being away from my family. Yeah. Like yeah. and friends and stuff. I just couldn't make new friends because I just. A different type of people in cities than there are in Tassie. Like, yeah, definitely. Well, you, you've been brought up with the Tassie kind of style. And yeah, it's just tighter. The... It's like a tighter fucking thing. And Hard to leave once you're fr- actually from Tassie and you move away and you realise what you've actually got back in Tassie. Yeah. 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 You go back and you're like, fuck me, like, you know, exactly. what am I doing? Like, and also the scene up here is so flooded. What's the weirdest thing <laughs> that happened on stage for you guys? Just so, Luke. Yeah, Luke is the weirdest thing. If there's any fucking cunts outside, 
bring it to the fucking side. Cause we just wanna have a good time. Please someone go outside and just fucking scream, Castle <laughs> I've certainly sustained a couple of falls. Yeah. <laughs> At our EP launch, we had about 300 people there. <laughs> I've walked up onto the Time fold back. Yeah. In between songs. Face planted. <laughs> turn Wall around. Trying to tune my fucking bass. I'm like, fuck this. Start the song, Owen. It's a fucking massive. Event. Everyone's there. My family's right in front of me. Honestly, the best thing about Alex when he like trips over or does something weird is he tries to cover it up with like, oh, I'm tuning or my pedal, my, my lead came out. So he'll like pull it out and be like, Put it back in and just like try to look busy because I just <laughs> fell over it. I'm so fucking oh, heads of head movement going on. Like <laughs> mine was at bang. The oh. last time we did with the train, oh, the martyrs halfway through. The, like it was a terrible show from the start. Like <laughs> the sound guy left. He just like, fucking he left. left. What? Terrible. We're line checking and he just disappeared. We're trying Sorry to, to find out. Fu- <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, anyway, halfway through our set. My click track, because I wear like any yeah. and everything, it just falls out and I lose everything. And I look over and the pad that I use for all the backings, all the click tracks, everything, it's fallen off the back of the fucking stage. <laughs> 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 I didn't even know that. <laughs> I think I got angry about it, it too. I'm machine, like, so that's lucky because that's not too much going <laughs> on. Right. Yeah. But man, I was just like, how the fuck does that happen? Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't even know. Breath of life. Yes. Seems to be, like, you right. guys are veterans. Have <laughs> 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 we played everyone? Yeah, we're the only band to do all three. Three, three. three. Yeah. three years yeah. running yeah. Three of them. Yeah. That's insane. Do you guys have, like, the best rapport with the people that put that on? Definitely, yeah. yeah. Um, long time friend of Alex's, um, Alex and his family mm. as well, so it's been a... So you haven't got on your knees, it's been a long time friend. Yeah. I've known him, we've known him for a couple of years. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, like, he, appro- he well, actually approached him and said, oh, what are the chances of us getting on? He goes, yeah, look, we can work something out. He put us on it. Then we got put on the second year. And then we pretty much got told we weren't going to get put on the third year. And then he rings me up and we got put on the third year. So that was sick. Oh, great. Yeah. And What's it like playing the festival? Because is that the only festival, like big festival that you guys have played? Or? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's, was, yeah, it's, it's surreal it's because you're yeah, playing, you're playing, because the one, the cool thing that Clint does is with his separate stages, he's got all these heavy bands. So you're playing with all the bands, like the Australian the good yeah. bands that, yeah. that you love. And yeah, so... Yeah. You just all mesh together, and then you can go around. You got a couple of international acts, which is sick to see them. So everyone just sort of lingers off, yeah. And just yeah. It's the first year was by far the, the best. single best I think Who concert experience I ever Parkway had. Parkway, Parkway, Parkway was there, yeah. and we, there was like Skrillex. It was such a like a, a wide variety yeah. of massive bands. And Fatboy Slim, Fatboy Slim, like oh, just man, crazy. Awesome. crazy Macklemore, we played with Macklemore this year, which was cool. No, we, we stole we stole three sixties right after he left. He did. That's right. He ditched. Yeah, he he left, and then I looked in there. I don't, no, this was this was oh, year this was one or year two. Still drug, yeah. drug 360. Yeah. The one good thing that I have to say about the Amity Affliction is they get oh, they, get, one, a, one good thing. That's they good get a rider that could suit the whole festival. <laughs> yes. And they just shout everyone and it was oh, fucking sick. Yeah. Yeah. Watch out for your rider, we're coming. For, for, the, for the mainlanders, because I'm, I'm a Tassie person but. myself. I grew up in Tassie. Bernie. Um, yeah, Bernie. Bernie. Yes, <laughs> dude, Sirocco's. Oh, fuck. Sirocco's, <laughs> man. No. Oh, green. Green, Greens, dead. man. The Greens Barb, that kicked off as soon as I left. If you want to get stabbed or receive free AIDS, <laughs> go to Greens. <laughs> <laughs> what I wanted to say before we got off topic there. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Um, is, After the brutal can you, story. Can, we all, can everyone say individually something that kicks ass about Tassie for mainlanders so that they know that Tassie is actually a sick place to to visit all right i'm going first because it's definitely going to be the easiest uh, it's just beautiful picturesque like yeah. there is n- i've been i've been to europe i've been all over I'm europe insane. and honestly tasmania is still more beautiful than the majority of places i've been in europe like we take it for granted because we live in tassie we yeah. see it every day but like yeah. people visiting there i mean what was it was it lonely planet like number four yeah lonely planet's most You're like kidding. desirable destinations in tasmania yeah, yeah. man it was yeah. such a big thing for our state mm-hmm. like when i saw it i was like Fuck i can't yeah. believe i didn't see that in the advocate i mm. follow them on facebook and everything yeah, yeah. <laughs> right one thing about tassie what we're extremely renowned for worldwide as well is our wines yeah. now i'm yeah. right into my um Jeez. knowledge Sorry. knowledge Jeez. about alcohol so like Jeez. Um, yeah, of course you are. Your beer. That's why you love Young Henry's, yeah? I manage a bar, so... <laughs> oh, okay. right, love Young Henry's, great beer. All your wineries, you got the Tame Valley, you've got all that stuff. We've got a gorge there, so you've got this gorge in the middle of the city. So you're in the city, and you've just got... Yeah, it's just unreal, isn't it? It's um, amazing, man. It's and amazing. one more thing, Alchemy Bar and Restaurant is a really good place. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, we can cut that, yeah? yeah. Don't <laughs> cut that. Just exposure for my <laughs> pub. Just note the time now. I don't know when the don't do it. Dude. New guy. New guy. Well, obviously the scenery is amazing. Billy, go. Not come on, scenery, mate. Scenery is fucking amazing. Idea. And uh, 
Don't we have the biggest blocky route in Australia? <laughs> I think we do. <laughs> <laughs> so shit, 90, 90s R and B, you can just yes. get slammed. Yes. Right, you just uh, okay, good. It's easy to get around, and we've got a sick <laughs> blocky route, dude. Delarain. <laughs> Delarain blocky route. Yeah. yeah. If you drive a Commodore, <laughs> Delarain blocky route. No, 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 there is a roundabout on the blocky route. It's, a, it's amazing. And then you it's, go it's a little roundabout. It's amazing. Man, it's fucking amazing. Oh, wait, so you do the U turn at the roundabout? Yes. Oh, you do the roundabout. Manings. Fun fact. My dad built both those fucking roundabouts, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Don't crash into it. Yeah. 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 I think that, just like the music scene down there is really good, man. It's really mm -hmm. different from the mainland mm -hmm. because people actually go to watch fucking music instead of yeah. like to go there and be like, oh Show man, pick up bitches, pick up bitches yeah. and fucking snort cocaine Shop and sharp tattoos. People actually go there to listen to music yeah, and yeah. it's sick. It's really, really good. That is good. So that's actually a down, fucking Tuzzy. great call, man. Like, yeah. Definitely. Amen. Definitely. I just like the sense of community in the bands and everything and friends and family. Like Everyone fucking knows everyone in Tassie. Yeah, that's and, true. Yeah, they all Even if they fucking other. hate each other. That's yeah. good and bad, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's good and bad. <laughs> but like at this sort of age... <laughs> I, hate so many, I hate so many heads. people down there. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, this oh question's for you. This one's for you. Luke, focus. Okay. Focus. Focus. You may not remember, you may remember, it was after a This Future Chaos gig in Launceston. We went to a we went to a club, I can't remember what the club was called. The commercial? We're out in the, we're out in the smoking area. Commercial beer garden. And then Wait for it. Uh, I don't Wait know. For it. it was like a dance club. It was like EDM. Lonnie's. Maybe yeah, I think that's yeah. what it was. <laughs> and I went up to you and I said, I really want to know how to pig squeal. And you oh spent about, I don't know, two hours trying to teach me how to squeal. <laughs> and I, I still had no idea. Can you, to this day, pig squeal? I can't anymore. You can't? I used to be able to. Because I know in this future chaos, every now and then you'd bust it out. Every now and then, it was it every was fucking <laughs> verse, dude. <laughs> Can you do a little one? Just do, you want do, do, you want, do you want me to do a high one or a low one? Oh, no. Both at the same time. Just do, do <laughs> whatever you get. Just hit like oh. a real high R and B. It doesn't have to be loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got it. <coughs> he won't saying. be playing tonight uh, because he's just Dude. fucked his voice. Hey, thank you boys very much for your time. Cheers. Dude, thank you. Cheers, bro. You yeah. guys have a killer Cheers. set tonight. Thanks we will. So much, and uh, St. Henry's. Yeah, we'll talk soon. We save the clock tower, hanging out with beers with the bands. Hit subscribe. We save the clock tower, hanging out with beers with the band. Yeah. Fucking hit subscribe. We hit forgot subscribe. it. Let's do it again. We save the clock tower, hanging out with beers with the band. You hit yeah, subscribe. Woo! Little button down the bottom there, you'll see it. Uh, which side would it be on? Oh, it is.